Your baby is very normal if they wake up at night and cry and want you to comfort them and put them back to sleep. But here's three things you can do to encourage healthy sleep habits for them and also get some more sleep yourself. Number one, establish and stick to a good bedtime routine, something that works well for you and your baby that you do every night at about the same time. Number two, eliminate environmental factors that might be contributing to your baby waking up, maybe noise or light. Get rid of as many distractions as you can. For some babies, actually, ambient noise works, like fans or a noisemaker, white noise. You might consider that. And number three is teaching your baby how to self-soothe once they're old enough to not need extra nighttime feedings and your pediatrician has given you the green light. You can do this one of two ways. You can either just let your baby cry it out, which has proven to be very effective and it doesn't cause long-term attachment issues. The second is a more graduated approach that reassures your baby that, that you're there and you incrementally increase the amount of time you wait before you check on them again, but it but both ways require that they cry and learn that when they cry, they don't get what they want most, which is you. They learn how to self-soothe and go back to sleep on their own.